Hi. Top 112 ways of using backless chair. Yoga prop for holding alignment and flexibility. Hi, we're in the, uh, we're at the desk today rather than the gym. But we're going to be talking about a piece of uh, fitness. I don't know if this chairs, I've definitely seen these like folding chairs. They lose the back and they get thrown out. I don't know if you're supposed to acquire this chair by being thrown out or if they sell them backless, but uh, this book caught my interest. So you're going to use a backless chair to do yoga. Uh, hopefully there's a lot of pictures in here. This looks like um, not just stretching. It seems to be uh, also got some yoga what do they call that uh, anyway some of the spiritual aspects of yoga so what I'm seeing so far they're using different heights the top height the backrest height the uh, seat height the little bar in the back they're using that height putting a pillow on it bending over the back all right, I'm not. I, I'm not convinced that you couldn't just do this stuff without the chair. I mean, she's just touching her toes here. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure what the chair is really doing for you, other than oh, okay, this one he grabs lower down on the chair. Some balance, interesting. Top 112 ways. Imagine that 112 ways to use a broken chair. I mean, I did recently a series 100. 82 workstations in a 182 square foot garage gym and I was like proud of myself but now I'm thinking you know <laughs> this author came up with who's the author of this book compiled by Dion Onmesh I feel like that's pronounced my name's John I feel like it's probably very similar Dion um, anyway 112 ways to use a broken chair I mean absolutely or a backless, technically a backless chair. They don't describe it as broken. Uh, so yeah, I guess there's a, there was a movie. It's, it's probably on the offensive list of movies these days, but it was called um, The Gods Must Be Crazy. And it was, I think, an African tribe that had a glass Coke bottle and they used this glass coke bottle for everything they definitely had more than 112 or 182 uses for this glass coke bottle it was like a musical instrument they was like stamping bread in it obviously carrying water it was like magnifying glass it was like sun uh you know like start the leaves on fire and then eventually of course they break it and it becomes a weapon uh, it was like the conch, remember Lord of the Flies and the Piggy and Sucks to your Asmar and whoever's holding the conch can talk. The, the Coke bottle was like that. Notes. I got some room in the back. Make your own notes. You know, maybe you're going to use, learn the 112 ways of using a backless chair. Uh, by the way, you can feel these letters. It's like a bass relief or whatever. And then you're going to make your own notes. You're going to come up with like at least five more of these. I think that's a pretty cool book. 112 ways of using a backless chair. And uh, I think also a good part of your training in the gym should be just learning stuff and absolutely taking your own notes, whether they're notes on your progress or new ideas you want to work on. I mean, it's your gym, you know, get something out of it. You know, I'm tempted to go into another rant. It's not that I don't watch sports. I just finished watching the U.S. play Wales in the World Cup. It's a shame that they didn't win that. They tied. They got a point. But, like, you know, you got to play sports, too. You got to, like, play sports. You got to lift weights. You got you to gotta do something with your life. And, like, I think it's great. 112 ways to use backless chair. You know, what do you got in your room, in your space? What do you see on the corner when you're walking by that someone's throwing out? That could be everything. Like those people who found the Coke bottle and turned it into a, 
you know, like the greatest invention, most powerful, you know, scientific, medicinal, and armament they'd ever seen. Uh, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but it is in a movie. And by the way, that movie's currently, probably, I think, considered offensive. I think there's a lot of nudity in it. Um, the gods must be crazy. All right, there you go. 112 ways to use a backless chair.